Topic The Lacopron Introduction The elucidation of the Lacopron was also a result of a close association between a geneticist Francois Jacob and a biochemist Jacomonard. They were the first to elucidate a transcriptionally regulated system. In Lacopron, here Lac refers to lactose, a polycystronic structural gene is regulated by a common promoter and regulatory genes. Such arrangement is very common in bacteria and is referred to as operon. To name few such examples, lac operon, TRP operon, ARA operon, His operon, VAL operon, etc. The lac operon consists of one regulatory gene, the I gene. Here, the term I does not refer to inducer, rather it is derived from the word inhibitor and three structural genes, Z, Y, and A. The I gene codes for the repressor of the lacoperon. The Z gene codes for beta-galactosidase, which is primarily responsible for the hydrolysis of disaccharide lactose into its monomeric units, galactose and glucose. The Y gene codes for permease, which increases permeability of the cell to beta-galactosides. The A gene encodes a transacetylase, Hence, all three gene products in lac operon are required for metabolism of lactose. In most other operons as well, the genes represent in the operon are needed together to function in the same or related metabolic pathway. About lac operon, lactose is the substrate for the enzyme beta-galactosidase and it regulates switching on and off of the operon. Hence, it is termed as inducer. In the absence of a preferred carbon source such as glucose, if lactose is provided in the growth medium of the bacteria, the lactose is transported into the cells through the action of permease. The repressor of the operon is synthesized all the time from the I gene. The repressor protein binds to the operator region of the operon and prevents RNA polymerase from transcribing the operon. In the presence of an inducer, such as lactose, the repressor is inactivated by interaction with the inducer. This allows RNA polymerase access to the promoter and transcription proceeds. Essentially, regulation of lac operon can also be visualized as a regulation of enzyme synthesis by its substrate. In the absence of inducer, I gene codes for repressor mRNA, which binds with the operator region and stops the transcription process. This is the diagrammatic representation for the absence of an inducer. We saw that I gene codes for repressor mRNA which binds with the operator region and blocks the transcription process. But in the presence of an inducer, the repressor gets binded with the inducer and gets inactivated and therefore transcription process proceeds. Here, Z gene, Y gene, and A gene codes for beta galactosidase, permease, transacetylase, respectively, by lac mRNA. This is the diagrammatic representation for the presence of an inducer. Summary Lac operon is an inducible operon in which presence of key metabolic substance that is a lactose induces transcription of structural genes. Lac operon contains three structural genes Z, Y and A. Gene Z codes for enzyme beta-galactosidase which breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. Gene Y codes for enzyme beta-galactose permease a membrane-bound carrier protein which helps in transfer of metabolites. Gene A codes for enzyme beta-galactose transacetylase that transfers an acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme A to beta-galactosidase. Regulation of lacoperon in absence of an inducer lactose. 
Repressor protein is produced by the regulatory eye gene. The repressor protein binds to the operator region due to which RNA polymerase cannot proceed with the transcription of structural gene and hence no enzymes are produced. Regulation of lacopron in presence of inducer lactose repressor protein is produced by the regulatory eye gene. Inducer that is lactose binds to the repressor protein due to which the repressor cannot bind to the operator region. RNA polymerase can thus proceed with the transcription of structural genes and enzymes are produced.